Madam President, the parade is formed up and ready for inspection, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, our president will now inspect the parade. As a mark of respect, the 25-pounder guns on board M3G rafts will fire in salute to the president. You're hearing the shots fired from the 25-pounder howitzers. There will be a total of 21 shots as part of the presidential gun salute. The president, escorted by Chief of Defence Force Lieutenant General Melvin Ong and Parade Commander Lieutenant Colonel Tang Wee Go for the parade inspection. The 21 gun salute is conducted almost exclusively for the president during National Day parades. Each gun is operated by six personnel, but dozens of others work behind the scenes so that the salute comes off without a hitch. They include weapons personnel, combat engineers and drivers who get the howitzers on the M3Gs. President now conducting her customary inspection of the Guard of Honor contingents, beginning first with the 1st Commando Battalion, by all accounts a unit with a very proud history. I mentioned earlier that they've just won their 18th consecutive Best Combat Unit Award. What I didn't mention was that they've won the award an incredible 35 times overall. President coming up now on the Navy Guard of Honor contingent made up of men from the Naval Diving Unit. They too have a proud heritage as one of Singapore's elite units. Naval divers are known for their physical and mental strength. And even though they're at home underwater, they can also take on missions in the air and on land. Republic of Singapore Air Force Guard of Honor contingent is comprised of men and women from the Air Power Generation Command. Its job? To ensure that the RSAF is able to deliver the air power required to complete its missions. It includes turning around aircraft, servicing and maintenance, and integrating operations across the four air bases. And finally, here is the Singapore Police Force Guard of Honor contingent who hail from Training Command. All police officers must pass through the command to ensure that they have the requisite operational and soft skills to ensure Singapore remains safe and secure. It's also a special year for these officers. Singapore just commemorated 200 years of the Singapore Police Force. Madam Halima has acknowledged that this year's celebrations aren't the same as previous years, but she urges Singaporeans not to lose sight of the country's progress. Quoting the National Day theme, Madam Halima says she hopes it will help the nation overcome the challenges on the road ahead. Let's wave our flags to our president. Happy National Day, Singapore! President acknowledging our everyday heroes, a group that she says should be appreciated and saluted for being at the forefront of the COVID-19 fight. In 
her National Day message, she rallied Singaporeans to stay united as the country eases restrictions from tomorrow. It's important that the coronavirus doesn't dominate lives, she says, and called on people to adapt and manage the disease. Ladies and gentlemen, the God of Honor will now execute the Feu de Joie or Fire of Joy to celebrate our nation's birthday. Kawalan Gomatan, Akan Timba, Puriza, Isikan, Peru. Haman! Timon! Isikan lagi. Hormat. Tembak. Isikan lagi. Hormat. Tembak. Madam President, may I have your permission to proceed with the National Pledge and thereafter march off the parade, ma'am.